this one is definitely going to be a long video because I'm starting to feel how I felt when I quit my 9 to 5 without a backup plan and I never looked back. That was in November of 2021. Then I took a long break from working. Then I had to start dancing for money. I'm really experiencing that same burnout. I remember before I quit my job officially in November. Uh, in October, I took a bunch of PTO, literally so I wouldn't have to go in because that job was not only my most highest paying nine to five I've ever worked at in my whole life, but it was also the most stressful, the most racist, and the most discriminating, the most pressuring, micromanaging job ever. And I'm realizing now, you know, working two clubs that one of the clubs I hate so much because they're so racist and there's literally no money there um, unless you're prostitution or skinny and white with straight hair, all right? And the more and more I sat here and think about it, I sat here and started breaking down. I started crying because I realized like back then Whenever I was broke, I thought having more money would fulfill me because of my bills. I thought, oh, if I have more money for my bills or not, have, a, have so much more, have enough money to be able to pay my bills, like without worrying about it, that I'll be more fulfilled and I'll be more happy, right? But now I work in two clubs working five days a week, I'm working more hours. One barely making me money, one actually making me money. And I'm realizing how unhappy I really am, right? That's really how I feel. I feel so unhappy because I'm realizing more and more you have to get paid to do what you actually love to do. In order to feel really fulfilled. Really you're supposed to fulfill yourself. Mentally and spiritually. But money wise. If it's not something you actually like to do. You're not going to put your whole all into it. I feel like I wasted a lot of. Time, energy. And money into this. Been dancing for a year. Invested a lot in like hair, nails, lashes. Um. Shoes, outfits, I got a pole, it's over $100, like, you know, everything costs over $100 on me right now. Everything is so expensive, you know, and investing all that, I definitely don't want to throw it all away, but I just came on here really to say, um, I get it now. I had to take accountability, Okay. I used to think it was all about money, but it's not. It's about what actually fulfills you in life that gets you going. You have to fill up your own cup. You really do. Because what I'm doing right now, like this literally is my second day calling in today. It was completely out of my control, really, because it was about my you know, about personal stuff that was going on that forced me not to go in. And I'm thinking about, like, how I just don't want to go in tomorrow. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just dancing is not for me at all. Uh, it's not the environment I like. It's very toxic. It's very all about prostitution and stuff so it's just I'm unhappy and I have to admit that I'm never gonna be truly happy unless I get out of this and actually do stuff I love like me <clears throat> the long break that I took from working after quitting that nine to five I was actually happy I had no one to answer to. I didn't have to wake up in the morning and get ready and do anything. 
I had nobody micromanaging me or stressing me out. I didn't have any anxiety attacks. I didn't have any breakdowns anymore. Um, I was posting content that whole time. I was really building my uh, content creating uh, portfolio, I guess you could say, uh, by posting on every social media account and just really taking my content seriously. And the funny part is I had only a few like grants in the bank account that I saved up from working. And I noticed how happy I was to do that. Like I literally was happy making content every day. I was happy live streaming every day because that's something I actually want to do. I'm a singer, songwriter, and content creator. I love singing. I love the songs that I wrote. I love the content that I create every single day. For y'all, I really do. Um, I just hit 300 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for that. If you are from TikTok that subscribe to my YouTube, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the link in my bio. I just wanna say thank you so much. Make sure to watch all my content. I'm definitely trying to make this a full-time career because I know in my heart and my spirit is even telling me, my spirit guides are definitely telling me to stop sacrificing my soul for dancing. And that's what I feel like I've been doing this whole time. I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. I don't like it at all. <clears throat> it just seems like a big waste of time. So now that I finally admit that, I do feel a lot better that I can finally admit that it's not always about money. It's not. It's about what you actually like to do. So thank you for listening. Um, to all of my viewers, I, will, I just want to say comment down below anything. Um, build up. I would just really just want to boost my engagement. I want to get monetized on every social media platform. That's my goal. Make sure to click the link in my bio. Uh, follow me on all of my social media platforms. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok. Follow me here. Like and boost my engagement here. You can comment anything in the comments. Start a conversation with each other in comments. Get to know each other in the comments. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get out of the club in general. It's not my happy place at all. The fact that I even have to call in to a club is weird. Like I said before, and I'll say this again, because I can't stress this enough. No dancer should be on a schedule. It makes them miserable. No dancer should be charged extra money to get off of a schedule. That's literally miserable. Especially when that dancer isn't even making enough money at that club to pay for that fee. We literally have to pay to work as dancers. It's not a commission. It's not a uh, salary-based job. It's not like we get a steady pay and then we get tips. It is a commission-based job only. We are living on these tips as dancers. Okay? I'm sick of it. I hate it. I'd rather be a content creator. I'd rather be a singer-songwriter. Because this is not where it's at. I hate it so much. And I'm working every single day to get out. I'm going to continuously post my content. I'm still going to post my... I'm still going to keep pushing myself to make this dream come true for myself. Because that's the only way to get myself out of this thing. So if you watch to the end of this video, because it is a long video, thank you so much. My name is Pika. I love you. Bye.